The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our home page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Every one of us is an agent of transformation. So we need to shine in the midst of all the challenges and the issues of life. That we need to be shining examples both within the community of believers and in the world. We don't have to pollute the name where when we have been named. Saints be shams when sinners are so real. So as I said, you did for in for a you one day to No. Last week we challenged ourselves. That as believers, we don't have to be pretenders. Now we need to be real and be committed to the principles of Christ. We, we ought to be the same everywhere in holiness. The ability to stand against offenses is on the inside of the believer. So we saw Paul praying for the church in Ephesus. That they will be strengthened with power through the Holy Spirit in the inner man. So we are praying that God will help us. We can't stop offenses. You may be very careful, but the other person may be careless. So we have said that the principle of holy living is this. It's never expect righteousness from the other person. But don't fail to give it. Never expect righteousness from the other person. But don't fail to give it. It is our duty to keep away from pollution. Because despite everything, the foundation of the Lord stands sure. The Lord knows those who are here. So you cannot say that I misbehave because my my boss is such such a spiteful person. No. And when we keep away from pollution, see God will reward us. Not with special honor, not with special privilege, but special service. We all need to get away from pollution. So that God will honor us. So that God will honor us. Now next week we'll be entering into a very important segment of the teaching on the bitterness. Now we'll be discussing Bearing grudge and nursing grudge. And then we will move on to revenge. And then we will start descending as to how to deal with bitterness in our hands. But today I want us to lift Jesus up. The greatest verse in scripture arguably is for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son 
that whosoever shall believe in him will not perish but have eternal life the next verse is as powerful as the first for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him. God did not send his son into the world to condemn us. But King James says that, that the world through him might be saved. See, God did not send Jesus onto this planet to condemn us. But that the world through Jesus might be saved. So it is for our salvation that he came. Not not our condemnation. If you are condemned, it is only because the light has appeared, but you have loved darkness more than light. That's all. So this evening we want to lift Jesus up. The one who came that we will be saved. When we talk about salvation, not only giving our life to Christ and making it to heaven, but total liberation, abundant life. One of the most powerful chapters in the scriptures is Mark chapter 5. Now it begins with Jesus' encounter with the demonic. Now a demon infested man. Now living among the tombs. After casting the many demons out of this man. Jesus crossed to Galilee. The, the other side of the sea. Of Galilee where the sea. Uh, well. Now, where his popularity has been growing. So the Bible says that a great crowd thrown him. There came out of the crowd. Now, one of the rulers of the synagogue. His name was Jairus. He came and fell at Jesus' feet. He had a need. His daughter was lying sick, dying. He pleaded with Jesus to go home and then heal this daughter. So she will live and not die. Now while Jesus was on his way uh, to go and Pray for this Jairus. Daughter. The Bible speaks about a certain woman. Now, so Mark brings in another story. A woman with an issue of life. So you see that people have needs. So this evening we want to cause God to meet the needs of people. Before she would deal with this woman's matter. Or before she could deal with this woman's matter, I should say. Messengers came from Jairus house. Don't trouble the master. Your daughter is already there. Jesus ignored what he heard. Went to Jairus house. And raised her to life. But I will concentrate 
on the woman with the issue of blood. Mark chapter 5. Let's take it from verse 24. Mark chapter 5. From 24. So we are talking about someone who was infested with demons. So I pray that if there are any demon infested beings who are listening to me or anyone is tormented by demons in the name of Jesus, we pray that you be free. Maybe your daughter is also sick. Or your son is at the hospital. Or your husband or a spouse, as you say. And now, who can you so? May the Lord heal them. In the name of Jesus. So, Mark chapter 5 from verse 24. So, Jesus went with him. And Jesus see you in a coy. Light crowd followed and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She has suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors. And has spent all she had. Yet, instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his clothes. Because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I'll be healed. Immediately her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. Amen. At once Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, touch my clothes. You see the people crowding against you? His disciples answered, and yet you can ask who touched me? But Jesus kept looking around to see who had Done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. Now, Obano, ah, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. And be freed from your suffering. Tonight, may your faith heal you. May you go in peace. And be freed from your suffering. People have needs. That is why Jesus came. Not to condemn us. That we through him might be saved. So in the midst of the crowd. Was this woman with an issue. She has been subject to bleeding for 12 solid years. Subject to bleeding. She has been under the dominion of bleeding. For 12 years, the sickness, this kind of sickness, determined her mood and determined her movements. That is why the Bible said that she's been subject to bleeding. Whether she is free to go out or stay indoors would depend on 
the sickness. So obet me apie ana obet na fie no e gina yade iso. Her mood is determined by the sickness. Ni yabia ne na brabo nyina no yade ne kire no said you are. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jim Paima wo Yesu di mu. That you be under no dominion. Say to me bia ran to me chia wo so. In Jesus name. Yesu di mu. Be free indeed. Je wo ho. So she tried to do all that she could. To modin so be ye ni obetu mi biara. Just to free herself from this sickness. Then you be ni obe nya ne fa ho die every year die you. So she started contacting doctors. She just say say o fi doctor ba ko ho e ko ofofro ho. And scripture says that she has suffered under the hands of many doctors. That should not be it. Because doctors are supposed to bring cure. But she suffered under the hands of many doctors. Na chiro se me say wa bre ye e wa yare hwe fo bebre nsa se a ne nse se basa. It was this sister of ours. Okay. Many years ago, as we were growing as Christians. I was told that she has been taken to the shrine. So we we're wondering why she could subject herself to that uh, kind of treatment. Some friends of ours stole themselves to the shrine. They went to her where she was. I come that you came here. And woke up and say, Hey, now I'm here. The brothers, I say I don't know. I'm dying. Me who? So they told me that this is a story. I na obe kachira me say we entra. So we decided to do the unthinkable. I was their champion. Okay. On the prayer team, I was far away schooling somewhere. So go and steal her from the shrine. So we mapped a strategy. As if we were, some of them were also going to consult. By the time the man will say, Jack, the lady, we have, they've taken the lady from the we realized that that one was also dangerous for us. Now, what if she dies? So the whole night be took her to the church house i was far away and my boys and my girls will not leave her alone they prayed the whole night and we prayed and god delivered her completely Sometimes when people are sick, and they are they know that they are facing death, they become so vulnerable. You cannot stop them from going to prayer camps. So in the name of Jesus, may healing come to you wherever you are. And may you be liberated in Jesus' name. So she has suffered under the hands of many doctors. When you are really sick and you are not getting well, so we are That is where you know that there are so many doctors in this world. And when I be one say say na you are doctor for be brave. Because they will, they, will, they will be pointing to some concussions. They will be pointing to people who will be prescribing their own medicine and directing you to many people. And I'm sure this woman might have been a virtuous woman, a worthy person. And the Bible says that she suffered under the hands of doctors and she spent all that she had. But instead of getting better, she grew worse. Doctor, 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 on account of her condition. And now, re being rejected socially in itself is a torment. Meanwhile, in your own physical body, you realize that you are also being tormented. What a woman. 
na wonfa ne nya hwe na fe wo pono no nso no eno ko aye yare kese yekura today the name of jesus and will be glorified over your life yesu di ne be kese the name of christ christ to di no glorified over your life o nya me nya ne kese yewa bra god did not bring christ to condemn us sans o nya me an suma christ so me bu ya ten that we through him might be saved na mo say be fa no so enya nkwa Oh God! Oh, when you are barren as a woman, oh, your, your husband is always tormenting you with divorce. On the account of your barrenness, it takes your spirit out of you. May the Lord open the wombs of such women. In the name of Jesus. Leviticus 15. Yeah, if you must say, woman, toss me and sano eti tunum from verse 25. Yeah, can I feel you more do no enum no? When a woman has a discharge of blood for many days at a time other than her monthly period, or has a discharge that continues beyond her period, she will be unclean as long as she has the discharge, just as. In the days of a period. Na oba se ni hosi ni moja egu nepi na enye nse buobre ana se ni hosi ni hosi ni tra ni nse buwa enye na hosi ni ya en hosi ni nanu ni na ni ni hosi na ni hosi se nse buo en nanu mwa. Any bed she lies on while her discharge continues will be unclean as in her bed during her manly period and everything she sits on will be unclean as during her period na enaya oda so biara na hosene enna nyina mu no enya no se nsabuo naye na adie biara otena so ho ente se nsabuo mu daye no and then this is the big one 27 anyone who touches them will be unclean na obiara o ka no ma yi e ho nte they must wash their clothes and bathe with water and they will be unclean till evening na on sin in tade na on fa nsuo enware na ne ho nte kosi anwumre so it is because of this scripture nti enam sa tro yi so nti that the woman will want to steal herself and a mammy no of the crowd won ko fu aku aku ni mu na o wi wi a ne ho no so you can imagine the emotional touch that she was going through. For 12 years. She was ceremonially unclean. And, and therefore was not permitted in the temple. She has no access to the priest. She was not permitted in public. Without making people aware that she was unclean. Because anyone who touches her or whom she touches will be unclean to If you say, But the Bible says, when she heard about Jesus of Nazareth, uh, he has always been the greatest name. That's the name Jesus, the Jesus of Nazareth, is the most popular name on earth. The sweetest name on earth. He has always been the game changer. He is the son of the most high God. Mm. When she heard about Jesus, blessed be the one who spoke to her about Jesus of Nazareth. Who is this Jesus? Colossians 1. Verse 15. Colossians 1.15. The son, the capital S son, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. Na obano ara ono na oye onyankopon a wonhunu no suban ne abodie nyina abakan. 
For in him all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. Visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things have been created through him and for him. Now if we say ni mu ane wabo no me nina diye wo soro ni diye wo asasi suwa diye wo huno ane diye wo huno ni wa o gure diye o mpeni niye o tumi diye o no me nina no wanam no sun e boy na wabo mano. He is before all things and in him all things hold together or no now the idea you know kind now no man you know a team i wouldn't move so if the blood your blood is flowing uncontrollably in him all things hold together and it's a moja i seen a few more ni muna dia you know team i wouldn't and he is the head of the body now on only the pediano today the church is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead on the name of the year so that in everything he might have the supremacy for god was pleased to have him to have all his fullness dwell in him so the fullness of god is in christ the sovereign lord is the all-knowing and all-powerful may he reveal himself today in your life in the name of jesus may sickness be gone may burdens be lifted in the name of jesus may burdens be lifted and this one why my cheese yes to do that is be lifted this one in the name of cheese yes to do kasundo bala basaka bayanda ya oh spirit of god oh nya me oh spirit of god nya ko pon sun sun you see probably adofono e bia she heard about jesus what ti yesu din the one who cast out 2000 demons from a man ya o tu awon mo ni bebere e free adam for nimu no all the one who restored the 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 boy from nain to life ana se nia o nya ni nain abranti anu e free awufu o mu maybe someone might have told her how jesus raised lazarus from the dead e bi mpo anu obi aka chira on se nia yesu nya ni lazarus fi awufu o mu no when she heard of jesus of nazareth yes nazareth ni ni dinu so let's keep introducing jesus to people i don't know mummy and question can you want some travel he is all we have and he's all the world needs on one year what no no one soon we are seeing here is the answer for the world today on only we are seeing why and now besides him there is no other no netino will be better anyhow hallelujah amen when she heard about jesus or tea yes you can it lifted her faith. And she decided to go against the norm. No, yes, obey one and do the unthinkable. She was going to do the not permitted. I will not declare to anybody that I'm unclean. I will not tell anyone that I'm unclean. I will hide in the crowd. Me hinta e woni pa ku oni mu. I will go behind him. Na me bo modin anwa ni ma fanachi. All I need. Me am here on this earth to touch the hem of his garment. Me means about can I tell you any more no. She said to herself. O catch her and Jose. If only I get hold of the garment. Yes, I me to me the means I can I tell you no. I shall be well. Me nya my yare sa. If only I get hold of the garment. Me to me the means I can I tell you what. I shall be well. Me nya my yare sa. Today in the name of Jesus. And now yes to him. Lift your faith. But did you so Jesus is passing your way. If you say yes so come ha. Touch his garment. Can I tell him? Touch him. Can I tell him? You will be well. Na u be nyao. In the name of Jesus. Well yes to him. So she was hiding in the crowd. And she now go for go him no we hinta wom. See for her to touch someone. Na don't know say we didn't say come obi a. Was to make the fellow unclean too. Na just so be man nipa no so ho agufi. She should be very weak. No I am mere. Not because of the 12 years of bleeding. Yeah. In Frisia do me no am get to no nya no. I suspect she will be very frail and gaunt. Me did this habre no no why horia. Emaciated. Na 
Why yet to say, Obi Abrabo Chano? But she mustered all her strength. Now, so Bomodia, the Nahuadia Kenya, navigated her way through the crowd. Yeah, now you say, Obe Funk of Kuan, where Jesus is. Aqua could do baby, I also want Jesus was. Aqua could do baby, I also want and to touch the gum. No, the Nesa Akanatadi. When she did that, no, yes, Hano. Scripture says, No, Sam, they say. Immediately and Tamara immediately and Tamara she felt in her body that the blood the blood has ceased flowing. Jesus also felt within himself that someone has blocked into me. Power has gone out of me to me be into someone. Jesus looked for her. Yes, she shared. Who touched me? Why not? Then who came? Then the disciples said, yes, you, for you see people thrown in. Oh, yes, so and you, 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 see. So you can still ask who touched me. Oh, but you have to say, so and Jesus said, You leave. Yes, you said, You will look for the person. Me myself. If me God, God is looking for you, so can you hide? Can you hide? Can you hide? So the Bible says, It's just something to say. When the woman saw that she could not escape the eyes of Jesus, she came and fell at his feet, trembling with fear. And and told him the whole truth. Yes, because the consequence of her action was for the crowd to stone her to death. That was the consequence of her hashing. And this is predicted, this is prescribed by law. But the wonderful thing is, Jesus kept looking, he kept going into her direction. And so instead of allowing Jesus to come and meet her at the corner, she decided to own up. And the Jesus shocked her. Now, Jesus, man, who dreamed instead of causing people to stone her, said, the first word that came out of his mouth, somewhere the kind of friend and Numbai and say, was my daughter, oh, Baba, my daughter, oh, Baba, what a relief. Oh, when you found the fact that. You are sick does not mean you are an outcast. No, you may not even be born again. It doesn't mean God hates you. What a relief. Your faith has made you whole. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Now, we are in the name of Jesus. May someone's faith. And make him whole. And genuine. Be free from your suffering. And today I lose you from every infirmity. And I command you to go out in peace. And now I stand up if you how be able to. In the shout and call for you. In the name of Jesus. Our Jesus name. My brother, my sister, my daughter, my Baba. Your faith. Has healed you. Go in peace. And be free from your suffering. This evening is liberation night. It is healing night. And may you receive your healing now. May doors that have been shut because of you be open. Let every ancient door be open. In the name of Jesus.